everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com and I've got a little bit of extra energy on this one because the weather's getting colder and the darker beers are coming out. I'm excited about it and this is kind of going to be one of the kickoffs to uh, some of the darker beers we're going to review in the next few weeks and uh, I'm just glad it's finally getting colder. It's been a very, very long, hot summer. So this is from the Terrapin Brewing Company out of Athens, Georgia. One of my favorite hoppy beers is our Hopsecutioner. If you haven't tried Hopsecutioner on draft or in the bottles, buy it. It is one of the hoppiest, driest, kind of uh, jaw-curling beers I've ever had. I love it. Anyway, Terrapin Brewery does a great job. I talk a lot about marketing. They've got very colorful labels, very artistic. Um, always has a turtle in there for the Terrapin. But this beer is very, very unique. So what we're reviewing is called the Hop Karma Brown IPA. So remember, hop, IPA, yet brown. You don't hear that combination very often. This is a brown ale IPA. I don't like repeating myself. A brown ale IPA. It's not something you hear about very often. What's cool about this beer is it's dark. Its IBUs are 65 65 is a bitter, hoppy beer. Its uh, average alcohol content is 6%, which is right on cue with an IPA or a brown ale. But this beer is like nothing else I've ever had. From the minute you open it, to the minute you drink it, to what you think about it afterwards. Um, one of the reasons we started this YouTube channel and website was to bring different and unique beers that you don't normally see and are thinking about buying but are not sure if it's any good. This is exactly why we started this YouTube channel. So basically, essentially, the way they describe the beer, it's worth reading as it says, it's a collision between a hoppy West Coast Indian Pale Ale and a multi-complex brown ale. Five different variety of hops, seven, seven different variety of malts. So what you're trying to do is blend the nut brown, the brown ale with the IPA. What they did was very smart. They used Willamette hops, they used Columbus hops, Centennial, Snook, and Nugget hops. And then they used Pale, Mal Pale Malts, Dark Munich, Victory, Special Rose, Crystal 40 I've read about a lot recently, Crystal 77 I know nothing about, and Chocolate, which obviously is where the color comes from. What's really cool about this beer is they are, are truly trying to blend these two different flavors of the IPA and the, uh, the brown ale. And I think they've done an extremely good job. And the reason why I say that is I'm critical about IPAs. I like nut browns in the winter. But when you first smell this beer, it smells like an IPA. It doesn't look like one. It smells like IBUs of 65. The head on the beer is exactly what you would expect from both those beers. Which is why I think they were smart in blending these two beers. There's a little bit of head, there's not too much, there's not a ton of carbonation. You know, nut browns to me are not carbonated at all. And it, it's got this kind of exact blend to it. The color is nut brown, not, obviously, IPA. When you drink it, the first thing I taste is the chocolatey nut brownie flavor. And then it finishes with a very hoppy kind of IPA texture and flavor in the back side of your mouth. This beer is truly like nothing else I've ever had. Which is why I think it's something that I think anybody should try if they like IPAs, pale ales, nut brown ales, or even stouts. Because you're going to get a bitter beer on the hoppy IBU side. You're going to get a sweet chocolatey nut brownie side with the nut brown uh, flavor and texture to it. And it drinks like both. And I think that is extremely difficult to do. So I personally love this beer a lot. I like this brewery. Hopsecutioner is one of my favorites to have on draft. And I think they did a very complex thing that could easily have been messed up. And I mean messed up in a bad way. And I've had some of those. And I've, I've reviewed some of those. Where they've tried to blend different beer styles and it just... Is not good. I, I, I prefer to use another word, but I try to be very clean on my videos 
with my vocabulary. I think this beer is exactly what they say it is. A brown ale, color, sweetness, mixed with a hoppy IPA, hot, um, aftertaste, flavor, and texture. It's a great, great beer, which is why I would give it a four and a half. I think this is going to be one of the beers I will seek out when I'm in Georgia to buy. I would easily buy a case, four six, four six packs of this beer if I could find it somewhere to bring it back to North Carolina because it's something I could see having one or two as the weeks go by in the winter months and really, really enjoying this beer because it is so different and unique than anything else out there. It's not like an IPA or a brown ale. It is a mixture of both, and it's done very, very, very well. So check this beer out. This is a really, really, really cool beer. It's the, uh, I always forget that it's Karma. It's the Hop Karma Brown IPA from the Terrapin Brewing Company out of Athens, Georgia. It's worth your money. Check it out. Leave some comments. Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. See you again real soon.